Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are at your service with another episode on the ethics of Islam and what should we be practicing. One of the basic things in Islam is a sincerity in our actions. We should sincerely do everything that we do. We should not be doing it for wrong reasons, for position, for fame, for showing off, or um, for gaining power, position, or anything like that. It should be purely for the sake of God. We should do it with the right intentions. Why do I do what I'm doing? Uh, and that makes me closer to God. So it should be with pure intentions. How do we earn ikhlas? How do we make ourselves mukhlis? You know, the Holy Quran says that when shaitan was being thrown out of the, um, the heavenly abode, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَخْرُجْ مِنْ هَنَّكَ رَجِيمٌ Indeed, get out, you are um, a rejected one. And he said, uh, give me some time that, and give me some power and give me, I will, I will misguide all of the children of Adam. And Allah says, okay, you have time, but uh, uh, I will misguide all, except Illa except for your servants, except, and amongst them, the ones who are sincere. So if you're sincere in your intention, then even shaitan does not have power over you. He cannot misguide you if you are sincere. So whatever you do, learn to be sincere. You should not uh, do favors to people that you expect returns from. To be pure in your intention. I'm not doing a favor to you that tomorrow you will return my favor. One of the most rewarding actions in Islam is to attend a funeral um, and to take part in the uh, rituals of a deceased person. Why is that? Because the tradition says you are doing a favor to someone who cannot return your favor. You are being kind and nice to someone who cannot return your favor. Why? Because that's what we should be doing. We should be sincere in our actions, in our practices. Uh, sincerity is one of the greatest blessings that one can acquire. Shaitan was rejected by God because he was never sincere. He wasn't, his actions were not even being accepted because they were not for the God. They were not for the Almighty Allah. They were for his own position, his own power. We should make sure that we, we are doing everything, especially our ibadat. Look at the words the infallible uh, alayhi salam they have told us to use. Qurbatan ilallah. I'm doing this purely to become closer to God. A person may be very close to Kaaba but very far from God. And a person may be very far from Kaaba but very close to God. It is your intention that makes you closer to God. Uh, there is a tradition from the Holy Prophet wasallam, that says, Indeed, every person will receive on the Day of Judgment based on their own intention. Or in Namal Amalu bin Niyat as well. So there are many, many traditions along those lines. That your reward is based on your intention, not on your action, but your intention. So ikhlas fil amal, your pure intention in your actions is extremely important. Sincerity. We see many times people have worked very hard, but they don't achieve what they should have achieved. And sometimes we see people who do not do so much, but their achievement is greater than many people. It is based on the pure intentions. According to some traditions, whatever you do for the sake of Allah, it grows, it increases, and it remains with God. So we should try and always do things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Young people should learn from a very early age that sincere intentions get you very far and intention, evil intentions do not get you very far. They will always cause you to lose halfway. There is a tradition that says that the Holy Prophet sallallahu was asked by one of his companions who said, Ya Rasulullah, you are getting old very quickly. Ma asra Why are you getting old so quickly? 
the Holy Prophet وسلم, said, Shayyabatni, uh, Surah Al Hud, Surah Hud, Surah Hud has made me old. So the companion said, Ya Rasulullah, what is in it? What, what? He said, This one ayat. I think it is ayat number 116, 116 or 112. It says, Fastaqim Kama You have to steadfast and keep up the purity or the sincere intentions. Um, and must not decline. You always have to maintain it or become better. So the Holy Prophet said, for maintaining and be always improving, that thought makes me old. We see many times people start things with very pure intentions, but slowly they decline, they go down, because the position gets to them, or uh, their authority makes them uh, indulge into evil things. So one has to make sure that whatever they do is purely for the sake of Allah. And how do you do that? There are a number of methods how to attain that position. Number one, always tell yourself and ask yourself, who are you doing this for? What is your drive? What is your motivation? Is it because you want to become more famous? Is it because So you have to continuously ask yourself, what is your drive? And the day you feel that you're motivation and your drive force has changed then step down from your position if you cannot rectify then step down if you can rectify and improve then continue to serve because serving is the best uh, uh, opportunity and it is the best uh, potential from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so never ever feel that you should leave some good deeds until and unless you feel that your intention is not pure you're not doing it for the right reasons. Make sure that we always ask ourselves, why am I doing this? Secondly, how do I make sure that everything is uh, done for the right reasons? We should uh, continuously keep up with our obligations, especially our prayers. The Holy Quran says, In salata tanha anil fahsha wal munkar. Indeed, your prayers protect you, and save you, and keep you away from fahsha and munkar. Fahsha is indecency and munkar is evil. So if you want to stay away from evil deeds and uh, wrong intentions, then you have to keep up with prayers. Do more prayers, do nightly prayers, and especially do nafila, the supererogatory prayers. So mustaha prayers also protect you from uh, doing evil deeds or having the wrong intention. So your good intention will be guaranteed to you if you are doing mushab and recommended prayers. One of the other things that helps in keeping your intentions uh, sincere is to uh, be modest, to be down to earth and never to boast and put yourself up and uh, say, I did it, it is me who's doing it. Even if people don't know that you did it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows you're doing it for the sake of God, He knows that you're doing it. And if He knows he will reward you because reward is from him. You're not doing it for the sake of people, so uh, you should not be expecting any reward for the people. So pure intention is extremely important. One thing one must abide by to, in, uh, to accomplish pure intentions is that if you're doing it for the sake of others, for the sake of showing off, then do not expect any reward from God. Allah will not reward you because you did not do an action for him. There are some traditions that many people on the Day of Judgment will say to God, Oh Allah, where is the reward for so and so action? I did so many good things. Why didn't you reward me for those things? Allah will say, did you do them for me? That you are asking me for reward? You did them for fame, you did them for the people. If you do it for the people, then you expect the reward from them. And you got your reward. You got your position, you got your uh, fame, you got the people talk about you. So now do not expect any reward from me because your action was for the sake of people. Now, one extremely important action to make sure that your uh, deeds are uh, for the right reasons and they are sincere. You have ikhlas, you have sincerity in your actions. Is that whenever you want to begin Make the intention again. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm going to give the speech. I'm going to do it for the sake of Allah. 
I'm going to do it for the pure intention. So always make the intention. One of my teachers always used to say that, pray to Allah, that oh Allah, if I did not have sincere intention in the beginning of my action, then please, please give me the pure intention now. It should have come to me during the action. And if, it, if the pure intention did not come to me during the action, that at the end of the action, I may have acquired sincerity. With prayers, with all of these good deeds, one acquires a sincerity. One of the best things one can learn how to uh, learn sincerity is to study the life of uh, the individuals and the holy personalities who were always sincere. No one was uh, looking at the Holy Prophet when he was preaching in the streets and he was going through hardships. No one was looking at Ali ibn Abi Talib when he was doing a thousand rakats. No one was uh, with Fatima with Zahra alayha, when she was at home doing the tasbih all the time. The Holy Quran says uh, that if you do something for us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Naja'allahum udda. We will give, we will place uh, love for you in the hearts of the people. They will like you, they will respect you. Sometimes you see a person passing by and you look at them and you respect them. You suddenly have special respect in your heart for them. Why? Because Allah has placed that love uh, in your heart for that person or that respect because he says, I promise. Lastly, I would like to mention Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. He was going to slaughter his own son with the order of God in the plains of Mina. And no one knew that he was going to do it. He, in fact, tied his own eyes and he did not see his son die when he was going to uh, kill him in the way of God. And yet today everyone knows that he tried to do it. Why? Because he was sincere in his actions and God told the whole world that he was going to do it. If you do something for the sake of God, it is God's duty to let the people know. In Hadith Al-Qudsi, it says, وَأَمَّا عَمَلُكَ الصَّالِحِ فَعَلَيْكَ إِخْفَاؤُهُ وَعَلَيَّا إِذْهَارُهُ As for your good deeds, then upon you is to cover it, conceal it, and upon me is to disclose it to the people. So make sure you do everything sincerely for the sake of God. Allah will let the others know. Thank you very much for listening. Fiyamanillah.